This thing's pretty good. The way they come around that corner, some of them. Whoa, look at that. These two are pushing each other. Oh, this guy's got himself into trouble. He can't get out of it. He's having to rearrange the architecture a little bit in order to get his cart out of there. And they do come by fast. No, he's got a reverse. Haven't you got a reverse pedal? Now going to bump a bit. They got these bumpers around the outside. They get some reasonable head of speed up, not, you know, not like as if they're real cars or things, but you know, they're nice and low to the ground, they're just kids, of course, fast. So it can be pretty exciting, I imagine. I don't think it'll be really all that much danger, I don't think it can be as in killy kids dangerous. But I expect you could get a nasty bruise if you weren't careful. Certainly get the impression of uh, the speed being just if you're just a kid and you're not used to driving and uh, you're right next to the, the ground there and uh, got others coming down at the same time. I mean it's they're getting up to they're getting up to about. Oh, he's bashed him. He bashed the side. He's getting off the worst. Quite a bit of aggressive driving coming at this end. Helper coming. This looks like fun. Oh, he's going off on his own. Getting told off. Oh, he's going to have a head-on collision for the person coming out here. All right, here we go. Off he goes. Good fun. Very good fun. Oh, smash! Whoa, what a bash! <laughs> hey! What a fun! There's a nice bit of sunsetty clouds over there. You can see that uh, cathedralish looking building which is next to my, or on, in a line of sight with my lodger. Um, there we have the Belarusian house. This is Radio Electronica house. I don't know exactly what's in there. Might have a look in a minute. Even this is a very ornate one. This hall here with these uh, statues on the top all holding crowns and what have you. Um, looks very ornate. Looks like it could be one of these. So they all, a lot of, no, not all of them, but a lot of these reflect old republics of the Soviet Union. Um, this has a big Soviet ornate Soviet shield emblem over the arch. So maybe this is something which actually represented one of these southern, maybe it's Kazakhstan or something, or Azerbaijan, one of these more uh, Turkish kind of... Uh, it's pavilion number 58 anyway, very ornate. No idea what it's what it's all about. This particular one, but uh, we've got these Soviet Soviet-style statuary outside of it, and uh, this side as well. Obviously, obviously, workers drilling and mining, and what have you. Pavilion, временно не работает. So nothing's actually happening inside of it, but. The outside is mighty fine, as they say. Um, so nothing happening inside of it. So we don't know what's, or I don't know at any rate, maybe we know, but uh, I don't know what that's all about. So there we go.
almost looks like a sun, sunset hit, hitting a, the top of a, a water spout, but it's not really a water spout, it's just a, a, one of these cirrusy clouds which happen to be at the right angle to look a little bit like a, a water spout. There's no wind, there's no storm or anything, it's just very beautiful weather today. So, just having a nice time, just chilling here, and so far, well, I'm taking some of the, it's only 3.3 kilometres, so still just this earlier part, uh, in the earlier part, I'm just taking advantage of doing a bit of filming and chatting to you guys and girls. Don't get that many girls, I'm only about 25 to 27% female viewership on my stats. Which, uh, a bit of a pity really, after all it's half the population but only a quarter of the people that take an interest in what I do, so uh, there we are. Uh, that's always the problem I suppose with polyglot stuff. There are fewer female polyglots than male, um, and fewer females interested in big language learning projects than males it seems. So, uh, but maybe there are fewer geeks on the internet that are female in the first place. Maybe they've actually got lives, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that uh, being on the internet means you don't have a life. I think it's uh, being on the internet is just an aspect, a part of a place where you can <laughs> reflect on the other things that you do on in your life. Anyway, one of the things I'll be doing in my life in a minute is going inside of that pavilion and I'll see you when I come out of it. Unfortunately, if you're thinking that this is a Russian tradition, it actually isn't. These are Dutch things. These are Dutch. Uh, I think they're calling them poffertjes on tour. Do oops, sorry, poffertjes on tour. As people everywhere you turn. Uh, dot nl. We're next to the uh, Soyuz Sovietsky Socialist Republic. This is called. There seems to be a general Dutch, Dutch kind of thing going on here at the moment. People are sitting in bits of uh, Gouda cheeses and here are some real Gouda cheeses where you can actually put Gouda cheeses on until you go up in the air and see how many cheeses you actually weigh. So it's an interesting simple device to keep children interested. It's like a seesaw but involving Dutch cheese. So there you go. And the child goes up in the air. They are. And you can probably buy some cheese while you're at it. So it's all about Holland. There you go, there's a... De Tulp. It is very nice. My friends. Yeah. There's a little Dutch girl there. She's getting ready for her next cup of coffee. So they've made a little Dutch street here. So, Dutch costumes you can have a look at. I think this isn't a permanent exhibition, it's just going on at the moment. I didn't see it last time I was here, for example. And there's a big windmill going. And, and molen, molens. The cove on molens. So, uh, and some more Dutch food. I think this one's based on. This This is erg mooi. Goedenavond. Hoe gaat het? Goed. Hoe is het in Moskou? Houd je van Moskou, van Russie? Ja, ik ben Russen. Ja, ja, oké. Maar u spreekt Hollands heel goed. Hij is een Hollander. Hij ziet het uit. Zoals een Hollander. Yeah. Hollander. <laughs> dankjewel, dankjewel meneer. Oké. Okay. Dat is called leveling up, my homies. <laughs> Oké, okay, de meer man. There you go. So you've actually got some real Dutchies around as well. The girl was actually Russian, but she spoke Dutch. Getting into Dutch from, from, from nowhere is actually quite tough. You've got to get, 
get talking for about 10 minutes before the German goes out or the English goes out. Just doing it on the fly is a bit of a toughie. Even the accent doesn't come immediately. You listen to them for a few seconds and you just actually can't help starting to speak the way they speak, even in English. It's a bit of an infectious accent, that one. Fat cats are people can't avoid being doing this sort of thing, this trying to uh, for somehow magically you never hit them. Looks so simple, but it isn't. So there we are. Now he's going to give a demo as to how easy it is, maybe, I don't know. And then you can win a bear or something like that. So uh, somehow or other you don't... S oh, you see the occasional person actually winning one. Um, there is actually, this is an, an issue um, that I wanted to talk about sooner or later. The amount of times I've seen Russian girls walking around with huge teddy bears. If ever I see a small woman walking with a huge, carrying a huge teddy bear, you can pretty much bet it's going to be a Russian woman there. Uh, I've often seen them. I'll try and collect a few more while I'm here and then uh, I'll, I'll prove to you that it's not just my imagination that you do see a lot of Russian women walking around with huge teddy bears, just walking around carrying huge bears. Um, so uh, when I, whenever I see them, I'll, I'll try and film them for you so that you'll, uh, you'll work out. I'm, just, I'm not just saying that. It's not just my imagination. Or maybe that's the last time I'll ever see one. I don't know, but I've seen them on a regular basis. So... Uh, you don't tend to see anybody else, any other nation, with little, you know, young, small females. Not, not, I'm not talking about girls, I'm talking about grown-up women. Um, but little ones are carrying big bears, bigger than almost themselves sometimes, at least head-wise. Um, it's really quite cute, but uh, happens quite a bit. 